Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art Channel. I am very excited to be one of the instructors at the Fluid Art Experience uh, in next month in uh, Dallas, Texas. And the piece I'm painting today is for our collaboration uh, for our giveaway pieces at the gala dinner. So I'm very excited to be doing this. One of the techniques I'll be teaching is the Nautilus pour, which is my twist on a strainer pour. So I, uh, just to save some time, I've already gone ahead and put down my base coat. This is um, titanium white from Amsterdam, mixed three parts flow trial to one part paint. And then I've spread it out um, all over the canvas. I, for my colors today, I have Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Royal Ruby, which is a beautiful uh, new penny copper color. I can't, I've never used it. I'm very excited to try this. Um, I'm also using Deco Art 24 karat gold. Amsterdam titanium white in my pour as well as the base coat. And then this one is primary cyan from Amsterdam. And I'll show you the consistency of the paint using this beautiful blue color. So normally I uh, do this with slightly thicker paints, uh, but because the Deco Art Royal Ruby, um, it, the, the Deco Art paints are a little thinner than tube paints, so um, I matched all of my other colors to that consistency. So it does still leave a mound on a mound, but it disappears fairly quickly. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna layer my split cup with the white on one side, the blue on the other, and then the copper and the gold in the middle. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want these two colors to come up through these two colors as cells. So um, layering them, layering your split cup is very important, the order in which you do it. So let's go ahead and put some titanium white in this side. And I'm gonna put the copper, I'm gonna put the copper right next to that. Try and get the um, the levels to match. There we go. And then the gold next to the copper. We might even get some multicolored cells coming up, having these two metallics right beside each other. And then the cyan blue on the opposite side of the white. So as I um, do my ring pour into the strainer, as it comes out, the white should become the primary part of the uh, the Nautilus, and this will be the, the darkness on the outside that these three colors will shine through. At least that's the idea. So we're gonna find the center of our canvas by dipping a string from side to side. It leaves a little line there that disappears fairly quickly, but it tells me where, where it meets is the center of my canvas. I have removed the center spike here because I don't want it to interrupt the flow of my paint. So we're going to set that right down there where the two lines meet, give it a spin to make sure that we're in the center. That's pretty good. And then we will go ahead and pour. So I'm going to do a ring pour here, and then I'm going to slowly spin my canvas like this as I pour. And that's one of the thing, reasons that we get a spiral shape. So here we go. No quiero ser tu salvación 
pasión Tampoco soy tu religión Hacete cargo de tu vida Mi amor no significa Posesión no significa Solución de tu problema Resuelve tu dilema Quiero vivir sabiendo que hay amor profundo y sincero. Tampoco soy tu religión Hacerte cargo de tu vida Mi amor no significa posesión No significa solución de tu problema Anda, resuelve tu dilema Here is the wet result. Wow, these colors work together really well. Wow, I love that blue. That copper is gorgeous. Royal Ruby it's called. And then the gold with the copper. Oh my gosh, let's start here in the center. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Look at the metallic shine coming in through here. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be spectacular when it dries. Wow, and definitely uh, a spiraling effect with uh, if you follow that copper around. I was expecting the white to be the primary spiraling action here, but it was actually the stuff in the middle. Wow, but look at this. Oh, that blue is gorgeous. Wow. I love how the white has made like three or four different colors of blue. It's softened it a bit. So pretty. Lots of really cool, interesting cells, just as I was hoping for. Some of these are just amazing. And this is just Floetrol. Floetrol and water. This corner up here is beautiful too. Wow. Super happy. 
I hope whoever wins this is going to be happy with it too. Um, but stay tuned for the dry results. And here we have a close up of the dry result. I could not be happy with how this dried. It is so beautiful. This center, let me zoom in there. Look at the center of that. It looks like um, a chrysanthemum or something. I've never had that happen before, but that's one of the lovely things and, and things I enjoy most about fluid art is there's always an element of surprise, always something new to learn. I love, look at these lines in here. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm so happy with this. The, uh, the copper just and the gold just glow. Uh, and so does that blue. I'm really, really happy with this. Look at this. I know it's called Royal Ruby, not copper, but it looks like a bright, shiny penny copper to me. <laughs> Look at the layering of the blue in there and that transparency. So very nice. I really could not be happier with this. I really hope whoever wins this loves it as much as I do. The, um, uh, this is only two days dry, so I have not varnished it yet. I'll wait for it to cure a bit more, but this will get a double layer of uh, gloss um, varnish. Look at those cells in there, so cool. Yep, super happy with this. I love the spiral on this, very, very obvious using these highly contrasting colors. So thank you again for watching. Uh, come paint with me at the Fluid Art Experience in November 17th to the 19th in Richardson, Texas. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.